Hi everyone, this is the Apple Watch Series 4 that Apple just announced at the September event in Cupertino Apple Park. This is the 44 millimeter model. As you can see, the screen looks a little different and that's because Apple slimmed down the bezels to allow for a larger screen, 30% larger over the Series 3 to be specific. The microphone's placement has moved so that it won't pick up echo during calls and the speaker is said to be 50% louder though we haven't been able to test this. There's a haptic feedback in the crowd, which feels incredibly nice. Essentially, uh, when you scroll through menus or selections uh, with the crown on the right side, you can feel vibrations for almost every uh, selection that you scroll past. It sort of enhances the way you interact with the watch and it feels great. And uh, this is one of the new Infograph watch faces available. There's a ton of detail as you can see, up to eight complications can be added. You can see there's access to the weather, UVI, uh, step counts, uh, all sorts of other things. There's a couple different variations of this watch face. Uh, this one, for example, the Infograph Modular is a little more interesting because it can pull up a slice of data from an app like uh, Activity, uh, but it can also show data from third-party apps if develop developers support it like you can see right here. That's pretty neat because uh, there's still no uh, watch face app store available so you can't make or customize your own. This watch is completely powered by Apple's new S4 chip which is two times more powerful than the Series 3 chip and we haven't seen any issues with the performance just yet but of course we'll have to do more testing. There are a few other watch faces like the Vapor watch face, which is my favorite. Uh, if I put my watch down and pull it up, you get a cool misty animation on the screen and it's sort of just a nice effect to have uh, as opposed to, to a lot of the other watch faces available. The Apple Watch Series 4 can also detect when you fall and then it would send an alert to your emergency contacts if it doesn't detect movement after a minute, which is kind of neat. It can also tell you if it detects a low heart rate or an irregular heart rate for atrial fibrillation. And there's a new ECG app available through the digital crown. Just tap it to get an electrocardiogram and you can save it as a PDF to share with your doctor. The ECG won't be coming until the fall, so we couldn't test it yet. The back has a ceramic and sapphire crystal, which allows for better signal in the LTE model. It's also water resistant up to 50 meters like last year. This is the 40 millimeter model. And here's what it looked like looks like compared to the 40 four millimeter model you can see the size difference uh, is pretty substantial uh, so this the 40 millimeter would be optional uh, perfect for people who want a smaller watch this is the stainless steel gold version with GPS and cellular and uh, that will start at 699 the regular aluminum version with LTE will start at 499 and the standard model will start at 399 that's for the Wi-Fi only one Pre-order starts September 14th and the watch will be available on September 21st.